This last weekend saw a massive box office haul for the Taylor Swift Eras Tour concert. And in it, they brought in 95 to $97 million domestically on $130 million globally. Now, this could be beating out Joker for the number one October North America opening with uh, because that got $96 million back in 2019. So this could beat that out for the number one spot. But you got to keep in mind, this isn't adjusted for inflation. So in all likelihood, Joker still has a number one spot when you adjust it. But either way, though, I mean, this is still doing really good. And it is the number one concert that's ever opened. Uh, the previous two concert movies were Justin Bieber's uh, Never Say Never and Michael Jackson's This Is It. Uh, both those had good opening weekends, but then they had steep 70% drops the second weekend, which I could probably expect the same thing with this one. I mean, not to knock it for anything like that, because that's just the nature of what these type of movies are. People go out and see it the opening weekend because it's an event. People want to watch it the opening weekend, and then that's pretty much it. They don't necessarily go back and see it again, or new people don't come in the, in the second weekend. They all go out to see it the first weekend, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we see the scores on Rotten Tomatoes, and... Critics liked it, uh, audience members liked it, but not everyone who actually went out to see this movie in theaters were having a good time. So we got this article from The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, Taylor Swift Eras Tour film ignites debate over movie theater etiquette. Attendees voiced displeasure over the weekend regarding what some perceived as disruptive audience behavior as a theater experience. It's horrible. <laughs> I mean... What, what, what were you expecting from this? It, I mean, I think people were going into this, at least that's what I've gathered, going into it expecting a movie where it's more like a concert. Uh, Mad Love wasn't the only emotion some Taylor Swift fans were feeling after the mu uh, Music Superstars Eras Tour concert film opened in theaters over the weekend. Taylor Swift the Eras Tour, which is already the top grossing concert film of all time domestically, spurred social media debate over the weekend surrounding etiquette for moviegoers among viral posts on the topic was a video shared to X, formerly Twitter, showing footage of Taylor Swift performing the song Marjorie as attendees in the movie theater sing, shine their phone flashlights from the seats, and dance in between the screens and the front rows. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty lively crowd, and I actually have that post pulled up, and this is what they're talking about for this, just a short clip. I mean, as you can see, yeah, like, everyone just kind of roaming around, shining their lights, stuff like that. It's like, yeah, okay, uh... <laughs> I'm at the worst screen ever. Can't even hear Taylor. <laughs> okay. Uh, I hate it here. <laughs> Same person. I mean, this is pretty similar to what you would see when you go to a concert or something like that. I mean, I, I guess they were expecting a, more of a cinema experience as, far, as opposed to a concert experience and the name Catch Fire Swift. Uh, uh, I mean, this person, I really have nothing against this person. She was obviously expecting one thing and the experience was something else. And I can understand that. Now, I'm going to start punching people, literally screaming and for what? But yeah, I mean, and there's other comments kind of telling her it's like, uh, yeah, well, what do you expect with this sort of thing? And like, she didn't want this. Uh, the cinemas themselves told us to treat it like a concert, sing, dance, have fun. That was literally the whole idea behind this movie. And yeah, I think that's pretty much what it was. But I mean, if you're going into it expecting it to be like a movie, then you're not going to get that. And I think that's kind of what they're talking about when it's uh, talking about like a uh, cinema etiquette. Because if I was to go to a movie, uh, just a normal one, and people are shining their phones and jumping around and dancing and stuff like that, it's like obviously that's disruptive. But some movies you don't even want people to really react or be too loud. You just want people to kind of immerse themselves in and that's it. Then there's other movies like, um, I don't know, like a Marvel movie. When you're going to that, you want the crowd to kind of be a little bit more involved, to kind of cheer and stuff like that. I mean, at least some people like that. Other people don't like that, and that's fine. But th there's just some movies that you go to in the theaters where you expect a little bit of audience participation, where other ones uh, you want everyone just to kind of be quiet the whole time. I mean, those movies, if you can actually go there in an empty theater, then all the better. I've had those experiences, and they're fantastic. But... I've also had experiences with big blockbuster movies with the full auditorium, and those are also good experiences as well. I mean, it really just depends on what you're expecting and if it's actually delivering that. Now, if there was something like uh, this concert right here and you see someone trying to crowd surf or someone starting a mosh pit down here, which I think would be pretty funny at a, a Taylor Swift concert starting a mosh pit, then, then I'd say that, okay, that's a little bit too far, but this is kind of what you would expect from a concert for Taylor Swift. And 
I think that's fine. I mean, and if a person goes there and not expecting that, well, then I'm I'm sorry. It just wasn't your, uh, or yeah, it just wasn't your scene. It's just not for you. Uh, or maybe you just kind of have to go to a showing with less people. Maybe this person would actually like it going in a week or so when there's less of a crowd and then you can enjoy it better. But I mean, if you're going out opening weekend to see a concert movie with a big star like this, and this is what you should expect uh, as far as movie theater etiquette goes. But let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.